Oi, oi. What's going on, guys? I did a video and I filmed it and everything, but then I watched it back and because I was holding the tripod up, my shoulder was killing me. Like it was going up and down and up and down. So I'm just leaning it on my knee now. I am in the woods. This is a new bit of woods that I haven't been to before, actually. And it's nice and it's peaceful. There's a public footpath actually that way. But I haven't seen anyone. I've been here like over an hour. I haven't seen anyone. It's that kind of place where it's very possible that you wouldn't see anyone for a whole day. And I like that. You know, when I go for peace and quiet, that's what I want. I want peace and quiet. From where I'm, well, where I'm from, which is uh, London in the UK, going from there and growing up there where everything is chaos and noise and pollution and just overcrowding to somewhere like living somewhere like here is man it's so so refreshing anyway i digress what is the point of this video ad five years right five years five years wearing a system five years you know what when i made this decision to get a system i was pretty sure that it'd be a long-term decision because i'd done my homework and i'd read up on other hair loss sufferers who'd been through this process i'd read up on trichotillomania sufferers who'd been through this process and the reviews are pretty good so i felt pretty confident in my decision but you never really know how something's going to pan out especially when you think about you know maintenance involved and that kind of thing and i will get onto that in a bit but in terms of like the positives of getting system because i wanted to talk about this i wanted to talk about the positives i wanted to talk about some negatives and i wanted to talk about the lessons that i've learned okay so the the most obvious positive of getting a hair system is it does take years off you you look younger you look younger. The number of times, I've lost count of the number of times that I've been scrolling through Instagram and I see hair system transformations on like the Leviv page, for instance, or, you know, Bono or whatever. Talking of Leviv, actually, this is a Leviv system. If you like it, get it. It's on their website, 15% off Adam15. Um, don't forget to check them out. Um, while you're at it, if you're enjoying my content and you'd like to support it, please do like this video. Um, subscribe if you haven't yet you don't have to but i would love it if you did uh, i think only like 25 percent of the people who watch these videos subscribe and you're missing out on so much content because i'm making like two videos a week at the moment so you'd be very very uh, or you'd be getting your i'd say you'd be getting bang for your buck but you don't pay anything this is free this is youtube but uh, you'd be getting a, a good amount of content especially if you're thinking of getting a system or if you are a system wearer and you want to know more um or you want to you know heck you can give me some advice if you want just whack it in the comments box below it feels like there's a fly on my hand i think it's like a little insect <sighs> come on little fella i was like something's tickling my hand right so positives age so we discussed that it does take years off um also confidence confident transformational change in confidence and self-esteem it's been massive for me it's been massive for so many people i've spoken to so many people who are like we don't know what we'd like. We don't know what we'd be like without a hair system. Probably a, an, an anxious mess, which is what I was, you know, before I got a system. And I did not socialise. I didn't go out. I didn't want to see people because I was like, I don't feel, I've lost all of my confidence. It was a bad time, you know. I think that, you know, going through that, also living somewhere where I didn't feel like I could be myself. I lived in a big city, so, you know, I didn't ever feel at home there, really, which is ironic because it was my home, but I didn't feel at home there. I feel much more at home here. So there was that, and I also went through a therapeutic journey, which was big for me as well. Not as big as the hair system, but it helped me deal with a lot of stuff from my past. And I tell you what, a lot of it came back to trichotillomania. And the teasing I got was a young boy um, back at school and stuff, because you know, I had these big ball patches and stuff like that. Heck, you know what? If if there, if I didn't have this condition and there was someone I went to school with like that and I was like five, six years old, I'd be like, dude, what's wrong with your head? Like, why you got so many ball patches? So, you know, I look at it from a different perspective now. The therapeutic process really helped with that. But I experienced so much PTSD going through the trichotillomania and getting a hair system where I don't have the urge to pull my hair because it's not my hair. It's not my hair, so I don't have the urge anymore. And I keep the sides short, of, as I've discussed in many other videos, because otherwise I do pull it. Um, so that's a solution for me, and the hair system is a solution on top. But yeah, it's just massively improved my self-esteem, self-confidence. I socialise now. 
Um, you know, I'm not even sure I'd have met my current girlfriend slash fiance. I don't know why I said girlfriend slash fiance. It's just my fiance. Um, but yeah, my fiance, I don't think I'd have had the balls to meet her because when before right before i had a system i had these bull patches and stuff my hairline was receding i didn't feel confident dating at that time so i had the opportunity to meet her i may have just bailed on it i may not even have got to the point where i asked her out and but i got the system like a month before felt confident again and i asked her out we met we hit it off got on like a house on fire and we're getting married in october that might not have happened without the hair system. And that's why it's been so transformational. So, 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 so transformational. I can't underline that enough. By the way, I'm trying to, yeah, the sun's sort of gone away now. I found a nice sort of covered spot because you know what I say about sunshine and hats and I left my hat at home because I'm an idiot. And so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna find somewhere that's nice and covered that's away from the sun, which I think I've successfully done. Can you hear the birds, by the way? There's some lovely, there's some lovely sounding birds making a little bit of bird song. I was getting my phone out earlier. I've got this bird song app and it can like measure. It can use, use the microphone. It can measure what bird it is. It's super clever. And it's found like blue tits and pheasants and you know, all sorts of stuff. All sorts of stuff which you wouldn't find in a big city, but is quite common sort of like in this part of the UK. But I'd never seen it before because before I moved here, all I'd seen was like, pigeons and magpies that was it now let's discuss the negatives for a bit because you know nothing's perfect obviously as you can probably gather from you know the tone of this video it's been an overwhelmingly positive experience but i think it'd be disingenuous of me just to ignore stuff that you know isn't the easiest which is maintenance maintenance in terms of like a negative yes maintenance is a pain in the you know what it is um you know i'd love to have those two hours every couple of weeks to just do something else be it go out somewhere or play on the PlayStation or, you know, do something um, that's not literally taking off a hair system, cleaning it and like replacing it. I've said in previous videos it is quite therapeutic, but at the same time, if I had the choice between doing it and not doing it, I'd probably choose not to do it. Who, who would actively be like, yeah, you know what? I'm in actively enjoying, I'm looking forward to doing my maintenance routine. Yes, it's not the most fun thing, it is quite therapeutic in a weird kind of way, but you'd rather not do it. It's kind of hard in the early days, guys. I'll be real with you, it's hard. Uh, it takes practice, it takes time, it takes persistence. Um, but you know, after like maybe about three goes from memory, like three or four goes when I first started, at that point I felt pretty proficient. The first couple of goes were quite hard and I, it took me like three plus hours. But it gets way easier with time. It's like anything, you know, practice does make perfect. Negative number two, you know, hair system, it's not free. It requires an investment. It requires an ongoing investment. Um, but then again, you look at it and you're just like, well, what in life is free? Not much, really. I mean, you know, in the UK, we've got an NHS, you know, um, which is our sort of free healthcare system. That's free, although we kind of pay for it in a weird kind of way via taxes and all that kind of stuff. Um, but other than that, you know, very little in the world is free. Um, and even if you had hair or you got a hair transplant, okay, actually, let's use a hair transplant example. If you got a hair transplant, right, you'd have to fork out like probably like 10 to 15 grand to get the transplant. Then you'd have an ongoing cost of like probably about 60 quid, which is like $80, $85 a month for finasteride, otherwise known as Propecia, to stop your hair transplant hair falling out. So there's that investment to consider. You'd have to pay for haircuts as well. So, you know, and if the hair transplant isn't very good, you'd probably have to buy hair fibers as well to make it look thicker. So, you know, nothing is free. You'd have, you know, there is a cost to hair, tr uh, hair systems, but you know, it could be worse. Honestly, it could be worse. For what it gives you, it could be so much worse. So what lessons have I learned? Oh, the sun's coming out. I'm really regretting forgetting my hat. <laughs> What lessons have I learned? The lessons that I've learned, the most important lesson I've learned is that transformational change is possible. I did not used to believe this, but transformational change is possible. I compare myself who I was before I got the system, especially in the lead up to getting the system, that year to two years before getting one, when that, the receding hairline was happening, the trichotillomania was bad, I was in a stressful situation, 
Compare that to now, transformational, different person. I'm, I feel like my true self now. Feel more confident, feel more decisive, happier in myself, really happy in myself. It's just been, it's been a tr it's been the biggest game changer. It really has. And you know, setting aside a certain amount a month to keep that, 100% worth it guys, 100% worth it. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up here. Are you still on the fence? Are you new to wearing systems? Have you been wearing systems for like 10, 20 years? What's your experience been if you are in that situation? If you've been wearing for a long time, what's your experience been of this? Would you agree with the sentiment that I've put across in this video? Or do you have a slightly different opinion? Let me know in the comments below. If you're on the fence with this, have you found this video useful? Has it made you more likely to consider getting a hair system? Or has it made you less likely? What's your thoughts? I'd really like to know. Let me know in the comments below. I always enjoy engaging and interacting with all of you. Please don't forget as well to subscribe to my videos. Uh, you don't have to, but you know, if you do want to, it'd be great to have you as part of my hair system, hair system DIY crew. Guys, my camera did me absolutely dirty there and ran out of storage right at the end of the video. So I just wanted to say thanks for tuning in. Don't forget two videos a week I'm doing at the moment. So two times what you're usually getting. Do check my latest video if you want as well. It's I reinstalled like a five months old system and it is an ultra thin skin. Their usual lifespan is about two months and I got five months out of it. it. Just shows how far you can get when you take care of your system, how much longer you can get out of it. It's all about good care and maintenance. Thanks for tuning in guys. Speak to you soon. Bye for now.